and I'm going to take a look at just a few high-end let's see RVs or maybe fifth wheels and maybe Santa will bring me one Hi, it's simply me Lisa G and I'm about to check out some RVs I have my mask let's see if maybe we see something there and maybe Santa will get me one I'm gonna go ahead and check this one out here residence and here's the door this one has one slider all right and it looks like we're coming in the back door maybe so when we come in we're coming in directly through it has two doors it has a back entrance and a front entrance as you can see so this is the bedroom that you come directly into and actually is that a slider nonetheless oh well wow look at this this is impressive wow okay so this is a bedroom here which is really this is a king-size bed and it looks like it has a dresser or maybe that's a closet a dresser as you can see there is a TV mounted and we're gonna go to, through the step up I'm already blown away okay look at this did you expect to see stairs let's go up the stairs and see oh it's the narrow stairs okay once we go up the stairs oh my goodness look at this there is a room here that can obviously fit two twins as you can see the AC a center console all right going back down the stairs oh my there's a door here for privacy then you have a bathroom there's your toilet your sink mirror behind the door you have a closet or we have looks like some shelves here wow and the shower if i did not show you the shower already there is the shower with some daylight then moving right along we have another door here which i believe this is your main entry and then you come into the main living space in this main living space i'll give you a pan from each side of the room so we have loungers, looks like you have a full kitchen. You have your dining area. Look at that. Beautiful full kitchen, right? Beautiful full size uh, refrigerator and lighting as well as your sitting area, your den with your entertainment center. This is beautiful. This is my first one that I'm looking at and I am totally, totally blown away. Give you a view from the kitchen. Okay, I'm totally, totally blown away. I love this and I, I hate when I go into things and I just adore it from the start. But this, this is a fifth wheel. This is a fifth wheel. For those of you that are not familiar, I'll show you the outside. Again, once you're moving, that slide will be pushed in so that will take away from some of the space in that living area. But I'll show you. So, oh, it's sold. All right, unless Santa already got it for me, I don't think Santa's gonna be bringing me this one. But this one, again, is called The Residence. And there it is. You just hitch that on. All right, this one here, <laughs> Big Horn. This is the big boy of fifth wheels. I was impressed by the last one, so I don't even know what to expect with this one, but my goodness. So again, again, with the fifth wheel, you know that you will be attaching this via a hitch. And you're gonna pull this, showing you the back. As you can see, there's a slider there. Okay, so this is the entrance. This is the entrance and I'm gonna go up the stairs. Look at this, Dyson. This is the first thing I see. Cord free, hassle free power suction. So apparently you just sweep and the floor, it'll suck it in, whatever you put there. I guess like a vacuum of some sort. You just sweep everything right there, it sucks it in. That is awesome. Now, so I'm just gonna pan the room. So it looks like you have your eating area here. We enter directly into the 
main living space. This is probably where you spend most of your time. You have your eating area. Then you have your lounge and sitting area there with the television. Of course you have another full-sized kitchen, which I know that, that is something that many of us really want. You have lots of storage here, as well as a ceiling fan. Lots of uh, windows for daylight. And of course these are removable. That's where your sink is. You do have the large and small section, which is really great. And these look like they're recliners, which is awesome. So let's go ahead, and I didn't know if I showed you. Yes, it's a full refrigerator with, again, lots of storage. So let's go ahead and go up the stairs to, uh, looks like a door that will slide open. And this looks like it has a dual entry here from the master or from the main hall for the bathroom where you have again storage closets a decent sized shower okay you have your sink with storage on the bottom as well as medicine cabinet storage on top and for those of you that missed the toilet there it is Moving right along, there is another door here as we enter the master bedroom. You see that door here? That's for the bathroom that we just had open. This again is a king size bed, okay? And you have your television. You do have a dresser as well as closet space in this one. So let's see what we have here. Look at that. Looks like where you would keep uh, something, maybe it looks like closet space as well as something to do with your water, your hot and cold. Oh, maybe for your washer and dryer or your washer dryer combo. I believe that's what it is. Then over here, you have more storage. Closet space. So not bad for storage at all and a little safe okay so this is the big boy but you know what this is nice but I really do hope that Santa got me that other one why it's sold I kind of like the setup of that one a little bit better nonetheless this is big horn all right so coming back outside if you're concerned about additional storage that is a lot of extra space for the things that you may have, as well as your propane tank. So, you know, this is pretty big. And as you can see, the sliders on this side. So again, reminder about those sliders. These only come out when you are parked. You will not have the sliders out when you are in motion. So do keep that in mind. The space that we did see on the inside you will not have that space while you are in motion, but do know that when it is time to kick back and relax, you have a great amount of space available. And just in case you don't think you can really handle pulling a fifth wheel, let's check out Mr. Coleman right here and see, you know, what it looks like. It's just a pull. There we go. Step up. So that's where the driver is and the passenger is. As far as your sleeping accommodations, right above your head, right here, and there is a television up there. Storage compartments. We do have storage up high. Okay. So as soon as you come in, you have your driving section. You have room for another passenger. All of the, this is your seating, your table for dining. You do have cup holders. As you know if you go over any bumps you do have to have your seat belts on okay here is the kitchen space where you do have a microwave sink stove this is your refrigerator it does have a locking mechanism on it so it doesn't fly open see that okay you have lots of storage okay this can also be used as a closet if needed okay your sink 
counter space. There's your stove, like I said. All of your control panels to control everything. Air conditioning as well, and your bathroom shower combo, okay? It is possible, okay? So you have your toilet right there, your sink, and yes, this is your shower. So what you would do is just close the door, pull this curtain, and this is your shower space as well. It's a little bit small, but, and there's a mirror, it's a little small, but it is doable. So, I'm gonna go from this angle and give you a once around. Okay. This is Mr. Coleman. Still feasible. Just not for maybe a family of five, right? <laughs> this Coleman here. Yes, this is a fifth wheel, so it's a little bit smaller. You have your sleeping space, I believe. This would also convert into a bed. You have your sink, refrigerator, bathroom, and a bunk for two more areas to sleep. So this one is not really for lounging. You have storage. This one is mostly for you stopped off and you're getting some rest. And this is a Coleman also. So I just came inside of this one and there's a door right there. That's a door to the bedroom, but I'm going to show you the access point. There's two doors and we have the bathroom with the dual door access area or dual door access point. So I'm just going to pass through this bathroom to show you the master. And the master has, of course, the storage above the head. Okay. And then again, uh, this doesn't quite look like a king size bed. This, uh, this is a queen. Still enough space for comfortable sleeping. Lots of storage, as well as plugs on the side of each, I'm assuming. This is your kitchen area. Again, equipped with your sink, your stove, your microwave, refrigerator, freezer. You have a lot of top storage storage here as well adjacent to your dining area fireplace television and your master suite so this is the Coleman that I just came out of and now I'm gonna check out this one which appears to have what three slides all right so could we coming into this one again it has three slides one on one side and two on the other right off the bat we step into a beautiful kitchen space here with a island, okay? I'm gonna move around this island just to go ahead and give you a great view of this space. You have your living area, you have your dining area, which is definitely the right size for a family, okay? Your seating space, fireplace, all of your control panel, Somewhere to put your LCD TV, again, storage. Lots of storage space. I'm gonna go this way first to the right. And first thing I see is a door here, which I'm assuming is gonna be the bathroom. Let's see if I got a light. Uh, no light, no electricity in this one. So sorry about that. Storage up top. And this is a brand new Coleman, again. You have your bathroom, toilet, shower space. And then we're going to move on back here to the master suite. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful walls. Can you swing around? So that's on one end. We're going to move to the other side through the dining, living space. And it looks like we have a second bedroom here. So this would be one bed here. Of course, it is convertible. And it looks like we have lots of additional storage here. This is a very great, that's a nice size room. Lots of storage here and a loft bunk, okay? So we have closet space, see that? A window to look out back. Very comfortable, again, setting for a family. Looks like it'll sleep four comfortably, and I'm pretty sure something out here is also convertible. 
so that you can sleep another. Fifth wheel, two propane tanks right there. And I told you that there were two slides, so there you see. Again, with those slides, you know that's the release for the bathroom right there. So when you go somewhere and you do your hookups, that's one of your hookups there. These are new Coleman's, by the way. So just remember that when you're in motion, these slides will be closed in. So the space that you saw on the inside is not the space that you will have when you're in motion. But do know that when it is time to kick back and relax, you can do that comfortably. All right. Oops, there it is. All right, everybody. So that's all for now. Thank you for coming with me and checking out some of these wonderful RVs. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to leave a comment and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.